Hello, anyone and everyone. I am Echo, and today we're exploring Fallout 3. Uh, off camera, I decided to go over here and steal all the stuff, all the good stuff at least, from the Brotherhood of Steel right here. Um, it actually took a couple tries because he caught me several times, just because uh, there's a, there's a, like a lot of light in the room, and he's you know very close to uh, to me you know, my character. So it was easy for him to see me every time he, like, turned around and he's, like, pacing back and forth and crap, so... Yeah, but... Oh, well, hey, we got some ammo and stuff out of that. And, uh... Now we're basically just going on to the next part, where we're gonna see Dr. Lee yell at these dudes if she'll, uh... if she'll hurry up and walk over here. How much health do I have? I'm good, okay. I was just wondering. You wanna, uh... You wanna go over there? We need you for the next part. I am Dr. Madison Lee. I have people with me in need of shelter. You must allow us access at once. I'm sorry, ma'am. No unauthorized civilians allowed inside the Citadel. You'll have to leave now. Lions! I know you're in there! I know you can hear me! You open this goddamn door right now! I love how her character model can't figure out where to go. <laughs> Okay. That that it? You, you, good, you guys good? Are you coming or not? Hey, quest complete. Waters of life. Yeah. 700 XP. It's all for me. Let's go talk to uh, him. Or is he going to talk to her? Madison, I'm surprised to see you here. What can I do for you? Don't talk down to me, Lions. I had nowhere else to turn. You must help us. Project Purity has been overrun! Yes, I'd heard reports of an incident there. What details can you give us? The Enclave. They've attacked Project Purity. James is dead. There may be more, I don't know. You have to do something. Then it's as we fear. Madison, I'm sorry this happened. I wish we could have done something. Then do something now. They've taken over the Purifier. Lions, they cannot be permitted to have control over it. It's not right! No, no, no. Calm down. You know as well as I do that the purifier doesn't work. It's useless to them. Perhaps it's time to walk away. That's not true. James, he found what's been missing. We know how to get it running. Is that so? Does the Enclave know this? No, I don't think... I don't know. I, I just don't know what's happening anymore. All right, Madison, it'll be okay. Now, this is James's son, I presume? I can see the resemblance. Yes. He knows what we need. vault Tech computer, something to locate equipment. Please help him. Very well. We'll sort this all out. You're goddamn right, I'm a son. I... I need to rest, lie down or something. This is just too much. Rothschild should help you. But don't forget that he's Brotherhood. I've never trusted them. Be careful what you tell them. I'm gonna tell them everything. Just because you don't want me to. Though I will... I will, uh... Say, I actually... I think her voice actor does a really good job with her character. Which is a very odd, like, standout thing for this game. Because most of the voice acting is terrible. And that kind of goes for Bethesda games in general. <laughs> I'm sure everybody... I'm sure that's no surprise to anyone, though. But, uh... Yeah, anyway, uh... You, Garza. Hey there. Yeah, hey. I have to leave. And I have work. Okay. So, I, I don't know... Maybe we'll have to check in later. But I don't know... If the, uh... The thing where we gave him buff out to help with his leg... I don't know if we actually, like, get a reward for that. Or if it was just, like good karma that we got at the time of it. I'm honestly not sure. Um, anyway. Who's this? Is this just a regular guard? I think it is. Yeah, it's just a regular guard. Alright. We need to find Rothschild. And that is not him. That's Paladin Gunny. Hmm. Excuse me. I was burping. Okay. Straight ahead to the right. Probably through the door they went through. Okay. Uh, so yeah. Uh, we're not... I'm not planning on continuing the, uh... 
Yeah, I'm not, I'm not planning on continuing the uh, story quest far enough to actually go and get the technology they're asking me to get, but uh, just jump down here, skip ahead of all you people. But, is this... Welcome. Yes, Rothschild. But I am going to just do this part, you know, get it out of the way since we're already here at the Brotherhood, uh, you know, headquarters place. May I start by saying that I am sorry for your loss. I was acquainted with your father many years ago. The world has lost one of its few remaining visionaries. Thanks for your sympathy. How did you know my father? Yeah, yeah, whatever. Are you going to help out? How did you know him? I have been a part of the Brotherhood for many years. Enough that I was here when Project Purity first began. I did not work directly with your father. He and his team valued their independence, and I respected that. Okay, thanks for your sympathy. Think nothing of it. Now, Dr. Lee has explained your predicament. You need to locate some vault tech equipment. Mm-hmm. My father was looking for something called a Gek. Do you have one? I need to find a Gek. Yeah. A Gek? <laughs> Goodness, no. Certainly not. I must say that there are some who doubt such a device really exists, let alone works. If, however, you share your father's determination, I may be able to assist you in locating one. Okay. So you know how to find one. I'm running short on time here. Let's cut to the chase. Yeah, hurry up. Yes, well, I'm afraid that with the emergence of the Enclave, the Brotherhood is rather busy right now. I elected to take time from my responsibilities to assist you. Perhaps I was in error. Nonetheless, we may have what you seek. In the archives upstairs is an old pre-war vault tech terminal. I will send word that you need access to it. All right. Thanks. You are welcome. If you require further assistance, I may be able to help. Yeah. Don't get all pissy at me just because you're taking too long to explain how you can help. All right. You said it was upstairs, but, uh... Citadel's archives to locate the Gek. Alright, where's the archives then, huh? Hmm? Smithy? That doesn't sound like archives. Alright, fine, yeah, we'll look at the stupid map again. Door out there to the right, okay. I would, I, okay, that's, uh, training yard. I believe that's what it said. That moved too fast for me to actually even read it. Oh well. Okay, there should be signs saying which of each of these places are. Or if not, actually, we can just, uh, we can probably just say screw it and look at the map again. Is it that door? That's the exit door, isn't it? Where is it? Oh, no, nope, it's more to the left. Okay. This one. Okay. The Brotherhood is at your service. Oh, A-Ring? Alright. So it's not leading directly to the, uh, Hail. place. Hi, Sentinel Lions. Let's, uh, chat with her for just a second. You just managed to get yourself into all sorts of trouble, don't you? Welcome to the Citadel. Not many civilians get to see the place. Okay, I found a Brotherhood holotag. What should I do with it? Talk to Scribe Jameson. She is our Keeper of the Scrolls. She will want to know what you have found. Where can I find Scribe Jameson? She spends most of her time in the archives. You'll find them in A-Ring, near the Great Hall. Yep, we're going on the right way then. So, any thoughts on the Enclave? I've read the report, seen the initial scans, but I can hardly believe it. I figured those radio transmissions were just old recordings. Never figured the Enclave would actually show up in the flesh. But don't worry. Whatever they try, we'll be ready for it. I'll lead the Pride to knock them out tomorrow, if my father permits it. Mm-hmm. Care to share anything about the super mutants? You've seen them, so you know what we know. What more is there to say? If we can figure out where they're coming from, we might be able to stop them. If not... Mm-hmm. Okay. What well, can you tell me about the Lion's Pride? It's the best of the Brotherhood, bar none. No one gets in without my say-so. Okay. Doesn't have a lot to say about it, apparently. I gotta go. Yep. Alright, now... Archives, if I remember correctly, I think the archives are at the back, but, uh, yeah, Great Hall. This is where they meet and do all their important politic and business. The den. 
Uh, that's, no, that's back to the Great Hall again, of course. Okay. B-Ring. Wait a minute. Oh, hey, Barracks, B-Ring, Lab, Great Hall. Okay, this doesn't tell us where the archives are. And I don't, I don't want to have to keep looking at the map over and over again, but oh well. Alright, all the way to the left. Yeah, it kind of sucks, because, uh, due to the fact that I'm... Yeah, our guy's right, okay. Uh, that's just a generic scribe. Jameson! Yeah, outsider, I am Scribe Jameson. Word of your ordeal has spread. I am truly sorry for the loss of your father. But if I can help you in any way, please let me know. Okay, uh, I found a Brotherhood holotag. What should I do with it? You have? Oh my. This brings to light a sad affair for the Brotherhood. But perhaps it is something that you can assist us with. If you have the time, I have an offer for you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> sure, I've got all the time in the world. I'll at least get the story and just tell me what you want. Frankly, I don't give it Yeah, sure. I've got time. Good. As I'm sure you've noticed, the Brotherhood operates all over the DC ruins often detached from the main base here at the Citadel. We are short on communication equipment, so many of the groups in the field operate as independent cells, with outstanding orders. Sometimes, I'm afraid that their missions end in their deaths. As Keeper of the Scrolls, it's my charge to write of each Fallen Brother's deeds. Mm-hmm. And without radio equipment, you can't keep tra track of them, you can't keep track of your own damn soldiers who runs this place. Yeah, let's go Exactly. Time. A brother fallen in the field may have no one to carry word of his death back to me. In calmer times, we could send detachments and messengers to learn their fates. But with our manpower stretched thin, we have no such luxury. Which is why I must now ask you for your help. Each brother wears a holotag like the one you found. Mm -hmm. Should you find any of the fallen brethren in the field, I ask that you return their tags to me, so that I might record their deeds in the scrolls. Okay. Uh, what are the scrolls that you mentioned? Where can I find holotags? Why can't you send your own people to find the holotags? She just told us that. What's my reward if I bring you these holotags? Yeah. We have access to a great deal of technology. And because of that, there are a number of things that we can continue to produce. I will be able to offer you caps for the tags you bring me. But from time to time, I will be able to give you something a bit more interesting. Okay, any details about that? Alright, well, whatever. Uh, tell me about the... I want to ask you about the holotags and your thoughts on the enclave. Here's another thing. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Uh, ask about the holotags. Yes. What, what about them? Have you questions about them? It is I my guess. duty to provide knowledge that benefits the Brotherhood. Yeah. What are the scrolls that you mentioned? Where can I find holotags? Why can't you send your own people? So, war, let's talk about How do I turn in the holotags? Oh, well, alright. What are the scrolls that you mentioned? Scrolls are kept by the head librarian of each Brotherhood bunker. The scrolls are a record of the Brotherhood itself. Into each scroll is written the name and deeds of each of our brothers. Battles, what technology is recovered, when he was promoted, everything. The last entry for each brother is that brother's death. It is important, as the way a man dies is just as important as the manner in which he lives. And so, each man who nobly serves the brotherhood ascends into our history to be remembered by those who come after him. Mm-hmm. Where can I find the holotags? They are on our fallen brothers throughout the DC ruins. Mm. However, I can't give you a full report on the locations of all of our operations. As I said, many of the units in the field operate independently, sometimes not reporting into the Citadel for weeks or months. Mm-hmm. Uh, might as well ask this, just in case there's something, you know, some new information. As I told you, with the increase in super mutant activity and Elder Lion's edicts regarding our goals, we are critically short on manpower. Any soldier that I would ask to do this task is one less soldier fighting in the field or defending the Citadel. As much as I hate to involve outsiders, it is necessary if I am to properly maintain the scrolls to honor the dead. Mm-hmm. Okay. Talk about something else. As you wish. Just remember, more tags, more reward. I know how you outsiders think. Ha ha ha. She knows what makes us tick. Okay. Questions about the Brotherhood. Tell me about what the scribes. So, any thoughts on the Enclave? Um, I have to go now. Go with... I'm sure that I have... Some... Yeah, I've got two holotags. How do I actually turn them in? 
I came across something interesting. The possession of knowledge does not kill the sense of wonder and mystery. There is always more mystery. Quite true, don't you think? Yeah, I guess so. All right. Uh, well, let's just use this again. You have. Yeah. If you have. Yeah. Good. We yeah. Some. Okay. It's just, it's just the same stuff we already covered. We have access. Yep. All right. I guess I'll have to look that up. I have no idea where we're actually supposed to turn those in if we can't just talk to her to do it. Oh well. Uh, now I believe we have to use this terminal to access that uh, information that we're looking for. Anyway, uh, yes, DC area vault listings. There you go, vault 76. Equipment issuances. Vault number 76. Uh, we're not going to read all of these just because... Personnel assignments, yeah. Well, well, let me see what this says. Vault 76 is one of our 17 control vaults. It will operate exactly according to the plan dictated in the marketing material produced by Vault Tech, and precisely to resident expectations, this vault will open automatically after a period of 20 years, and the residents will be pushed back into the open world for study in comparison to the other experiments. Yeah. Project goals. Access restricted, yes. Okay. Yeah, um, uh, I might read the personnel assignments, but I don't think I'm going to read all their... Uh, equipment issuances just because yeah this just tells us like when everything was uh oh well actually okay this tells us when the uh the I guess 87 is where the uh GEC is I don't see it in here uh general atomics nuclear power support fusion power non-standard equipment okay there you go GEC 1 yeah okay and never mind, I, I was wrong. We are going to read those because that's what we had to do for the quest. <laughs> of course I knew that. Personnel assignments, null. Yep, okay, error corrupted. Um, project goals, access restricted. I think that's going to be restricted on all of them. Kind of just want to blast through these because, uh, I don't know, actually, uh, I mean, yeah, this is just like telling us when it was built and what kind of stuff they were fitted with. I'm not really interested in that. So I'll read the personnel assignments, and uh, all the all those are restricted. 101, yeah. No, that was ours. Null for the thing for some reason, and error for that again. Okay, so there might not actually be much to read. Okay, 106. Equipment. Stuff. Personnel assignments. Dr. Albert Laris, additional personnel. Our Archive, archivist's note. This information has been redacted at the request of Dr. Albert Laris of the Psycholo Psychological Research Department and Chief Overseer of the Vault 106 Project. All inquiries into the goals and research methods of Vault 106 are to be directed through his office. Yeah. So, very secretive. It's also been redacted. Okay. The only one that actually tells us is 76. It's the only one, the only normal one so far, too. Though 20 years seems a bit of a short time. Only sufficient to power this project partially. Please do not file any further reports on this issue. So, defensive weaponry, triple normal issue. Note, do not stock with standard entertainment. Yeah, this one, oh, this one. General Atomics, main power supply designed to fail after 240 months. Yeah. Personnel assignments. Overseer Brody Jones. Oh, geez. Uh, Zachary and all that. Research note all standard positions have been intentionally left unfilled and will be assigned by the Overseer according to the Vault 108 protocols. According to the pre assignment medical tests, Mr. Jones has a genetic disposition for a rare terminal strain of cancer, which should ideally cause him to expire within 40 months of the project's inception. These two events should combine to allow a proper catalyst that allows this project to, to continue as planned. So, Overseer dies after 40 months. After 240 months, the entire project, the entire place's uh, power fails. So that's Vault 108. Congratulations, guys. Uh, and Vault 112. Equipment issuance issuances... Bleh. I'm going to have trouble pronouncing that word if I ever try again. Uh, liquid nutrients. So that's how they stay alive in the stasis pods. Vault 112 is the uh, 
place we went to find Dad with the, uh, you know, the uh, simulation and everything. Personnel assignments. Overseer, Dr. Stanislaus Braun. Additional personnel researchers. Note, due to the nature of the project in Vault 112 and the highly automated systems designed to support it, the vault requires only a single administrator. Yeah. Yeah. You can say that again. So yeah, it's all very secretive. Most of it is, like, redacted information or access denied or whatever. This one's the only, like, normal one. This one... It, the thing about the vaults, for anybody who doesn't know, is that the vaults were designed to all be experiments, like most of them. Maybe not most of them, but like a very large amount of them were designed to be like social technological experiments where they basically used the people who uh, bought space in the vault to save themselves from the nuclear disaster. They used those people like test dummies in order to, uh, you know, just do stuff to them in like 76. Uh, I'm not sure if that's standard. It says that they were open, that the vault was opened up after 20 years, uh, which doesn't seem like a lot of time for you know the nuclear fallout to have dissipated. But I'm not sure. I, I don't actually know how nuclear technology works. I know like uh, the Chernobyl incident in real life that ha that happened over 20 years ago, and there's still uh, you know radiation left over there. Uh, and the area isn't habitable. So that seems like the trick to this one is probably, just at my guess, is probably that it's, like, intentionally not, uh, you know, not keeping them safe for long enough and forcing them to go out earlier than the other vaults. So, I don't know. Um, these two, it doesn't really give much information. This one was ours. The whole trick to Vault 101 is that it's never supposed to open again. You know, the whole experiment with Vault 101 was what if we make a vault that never opens and just keep the people in there forever, you know, and see what happens. Uh, didn't exactly work out because dear old dad, uh, little scamp that he is, decided to go back and forth willy-nilly, it seems. Um, 106, it doesn't give much information on. 108, it seems the trick to that one was that the overseer would die very quickly and soon after the power for the entire vault would fail which I assume would have a similar effect to 101 they'd probably all be trapped inside because without power they would have no way to open that gigantic vault door to get out but it would be even worse because they also wouldn't have power to like create food and stuff so you know it would be uh be a very tough situation to say the least uh, yeah can't say much more about that. Um, and Vault 112 was, uh, you know, the one where everybody was trapped in a simulation. I don't think the, uh, uh, I don't think the goal was to keep them literally trapped in the simulation the whole time, but it was at least to be an experiment with, uh, simulation stuff. Vault Tech Personnel Assignments. Error file corruption detected. Yep, yep, yep. Order requisition forms. Error file corruption. Yep, okay. We'll turn that off, and, uh, we are actually going to be of course, because I want to, you know, do and show off as much of the stuff in this game as possible, we are going to be visiting every single one of those vaults. Not all at once, not all back to back, but we will be uh, visiting all of them at some point throughout the throughout this playthrough. But that's all the time I have for now because it's been long enough, and uh, I have to stop the video here or uh, stuff bad stuff will happen. That's my excuse. Yeah. So I'll see you all next time, and hopefully this one wasn't too boring with lots of listening to people talk and reading computer stuff, but I've done it before, so I guess it's not too bad. Sorry. <laughs> Alright, see you all next time. Bye-bye.